to this week's The Filth. Tim, you're going to find this very hard to believe. I've never watched an episode of The Office. In fact, I haven't watched really any TV in the last year. I've been working about 70, 80 hours a week doing this kind of stuff and uh, yeah, juggling all of this and two small children. I've been a pretty busy guy, so I haven't watched any TV. I'm sorry to report and I'm sorry to disappoint you. Good question. It's been a crazy ride with this band over the years. Uh, a few things that stand out is uh, the Kerrang Awards in 2002 over in England, doing shots of Jägermeister with Gary King from Slayer, uh, hanging out with Dave Grohl and my father backstage at Leeds Festival in 2002, talking uh, all things rock and roll. That was a pretty memorable experience. Uh, sitting at an internet cafe in Amsterdam, remember those? Uh, and uh, in walks in Rob Halford from Judas Priest and sits next to me to check his email or whatever he was doing. Uh, and a ton more. Uh, I got to sit next to Meat Loaf at an award show in England one time. That was uh, different. Uh, hanging out with the Green Day guys uh, on their tour bus in Manchester, England. And I can't even go into that story. <laughs> it's insane. Uh, and smoking the devil's cabbage with George Clinton uh, from Parliament Funkadelic on our tour bus in Tallahassee, Florida many years ago. Uh, that was insane. And there's many more, but I'll stop there. Hey Mike, I think I've answered this question uh, on the filth before. Uh, bear with me everybody else who's already heard the answer, but it's a good question and uh, it deserves to be answered again. Roger and I kind of, we, we know almost immediately whether or not, uh, I'm gonna sing the song or he's gonna sing the song. It all has to do with key and whose voice fits. Uh, and sometimes we'll, we're wrong and I'll get up in front of the mic and start singing and say, you know what, I think I think you should take a shot at this Roger and vice versa. So it really, uh, the, the song dictates everything. The song, uh, who it calls for to sing and who it calls for to sing the backing vocals and, and all that stuff. So it really boils down to, to the song and we've gotten pretty good figuring out who's gonna sing what. question, Carrie. As a matter of fact, I have on the brand new Less Than Jake record, Silver Linings, which is out December 11th, 2020. I wrote a song called Keep On Chasin' that is about a romantic love interest gone awry. I'm very proud of the song and I uh, think that you'll like it. So give it a listen. It's called Keep On Chasin'. Hey David, great question. Uh, yes, there's a couple that come to mind. I, I'll, I'll pick just one, but uh, for for the money, uh, what's my age again? <laughs> That'd be a good payday because that thing has been played a billion times. But uh, in all seriousness, the song that I wish I wrote uh, would be Brandenburg Gate by Anti Flag. I think that is just the perfect uh, quintessential punk rock song. I just love everything about it. The guitars, the intensity of the vocal, what it says, and learning about what it means through Chris number two on the show, which was just fascinating to me. I, I love how that song translates uh, live. Uh, it's just it's just an amazing song, and, and I wish I wrote it. <laughs> <laughs> 